In this quick tip, we're going to take a deeper look at VCA faders, specifically how they work with automation. Here we've got the same song we were working with in the prior quick tip video, and I've gone ahead and added some random automation to it, just for the sake of demonstration. Let's take a listen to what we've got and take a look at the mix page. You can see all the faders moving around following the automation that they have written to them. Once again, we have our VCA fader here on the left, and as we covered in the prior how-to video, we can use this fader to control the volume of all of the other faders in the group that it controls. So, if I grab the VCA fader and move it up and down, you can see that all the other faders come along for the ride. Of course, at this point, they all have automation on them. So if I hit play, and then move the VCA fader up or down, their relative automation levels will still play. You can see all the faders are still moving. The position I place the VCA fader at simply applies a delta value to all of the other faders. That is to say, a value of relative change. In this case, I'm attenuating by 16 dB across all members of the group. But they will still play their existing automation. Let's take a look back at the edit page, and you can see that the main volume automation line for each track is displaying, but in addition to that, you can see those faint blue lines behind each one. You can see these lines right here, here. Every single track has one. The blue line represents that delta value. It represents the sum of the automation between the automation on the individual track's volume fader and what the VCA fader is applying to it. This is what we call the Composite Automation Playlist. If we go to the View menu, Automation, we can turn off the Composite Playlist if we want to. That way we no longer see that blue line. Let's put that back on. Now, let's put some automation onto that VCA fader. We'll go back to the mix page and I will set its automation mode to latch. And now, let's automate it as well. And so now I have applied some automation to my VCA fader, and when I look back at the edit page, I can see that the composite playlist, the blue line, has updated to reflect on each track the combination of the VCA fader's automation and each track's individual automation. Let's take a look at one complication of VCA fader automation. One problem that happens when working with VCA fader automation deals with continuing to write automation onto the individual tracks again. Let's take a look at this Synth 3 track here. I'm going to make it taller and I'm going to bring up its floating fader. I'll go to the mix page, and I'll click right here to the right of its output to bring up its floating fader. This way we can concentrate on the automation lane on the edit page while I demonstrate this difficulty. If I go into a new pass here and attempt to write further automation directly to the Synth 3 track right now, then the fader's position will be the composite of the existing automation and the VCA automation. So when I start writing that new automation, I'll suddenly have a sharp right angle where the new automation carries in. Take a look. Take me to your party. Take so you can see that Pro Tools started from the composite position for the fader and immediately wrote that new automation at that point. That clearly wasn't really my intent. So there is a workaround for this. Let's undo that. This workaround involves what's known as coalescing automation. Coalescing automation is where you effectively fold in the change from a VCA master or a trim automation lane into the volume automation to which it applies. That is to say, we turn that blue composite playlist into the only automation playlist and effectively flatten the VCA fader back out. So let's click onto our VCA fader track, select all to tell it all the automation that we want to coalesce, that is to say all the automation that we want to combine with the automation lanes of the tracks that it controls, 
And now let's go ahead and coalesce this VCA master automation by going to the track menu and choosing Coalesce VCA Master Automation. As you can see, the automation from the VCA fader was simply summed into all of the other tracks that are in its group, and it was zeroed out again. That is to say that the VCA fader, now back at 0 dB, is applying no further change to the volume automation of the tracks in its group. It is back to unity gain, 0 dB, no change. So now, if I go back to that same point and continue to add automation to the synth track, it will add exactly the way that we are used to. No more nasty right angles. So, that shows you some of the power of VCA automation and also some of the danger and a quick workaround. You can either leave the automation on your VCA fader the entire time or coalesce it whenever you feel the need. That's all for this quick tip.